Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Max Kip Episode 1, which is going to be the first official episode of my post-max progress on my main account, Mudkip. After I maxed, I made a video about all of my post-max goals, and I'll leave a link for that in the description if you want to check it out and see a more in-depth explanation of what I hope to achieve. But basically, my main goals for post-max are going to be playing for ranks, virtual levels, going for pets, getting a 200 mil skill, finishing achievement diaries, hunting pets, doing clue scrolls, and learning how to boss and do raids. But the number one end goal of the series is going to be to get in the top 1k ranking in each skill. At the end of each episode, I'm going to show my current high scores at the time of making the video and compare it side by side to my high scores at the time of making the previous episode. So it'll be a nice comparison to see what's been accomplished and what skills have moved in or out of the top 1k ranking. I'll probably have these episodes out maybe two to three times a month depending on how much progress I make, but this account does take priority over the Hardcore Iron Man, so whenever I'm on the Hardcore Iron Man, I will be on this account. However, whenever I'm on here, I won't necessarily be on the Hardcore Iron Man, although I try to be as much as possible. This series is not all about grind, grind, grind. It's more of like all the funny and noteworthy moments that happen while playing, and I try to capture all sorts of things in my day-to-day -day life of playing. I probably forgot to mention some stuff, but oh well, I can always bring it up later. But anyways, from the first minute of the video, in case you couldn't tell, I've been doing a lot of cooking. And for every skill, I'm going to show every virtual level I gain, as well as every 10 mil XP milestone for every skill. In the first clip of the video, I just hit 400 mil XP, and I think I'll just show every 50 mil milestone for the total XP. But right now, this is from the night before the Make All update came out, and this was the last time ever with the old interface, and I'm really not going to miss it, although it is very nostalgic to see. And here is a virtual level of 101 smithing. I did recently get it into the top 1k ranking, and I'm surprised the XP requirement for that is so low. For me, it's been such a relaxing skill to do when I AFK on the hardcore, and I could really see myself getting a lot of XP and smithing over time, because I'll just do it for an hour here and there, and it's really been adding up. And here is another example of the old interface for fletching, which I'm sure we're all going to miss very much, having to do make X every single time. Completely devalues my max cape and my cooking XP, by the way. Nah, I'm just kidding though, I'm not that salty. Well, maybe a little but not really. But here's level 117 cooking, not too bad, it's really starting to get up there now. And of course, like any good YouTuber, I missed 80 mil XP, but here it is just after I hit 80 mil. Bro, I swear the funniest stuff goes down in the rogues den. This dude was like, yeah bro, I'm so baked right now, I'm gonna freestyle for you guys. And he actually started freestyling using all of our usernames as like the keywords to rhyme with. We have way too much fun here, I love it. And level 118 cooking coming in. I've never flipped before, and I tried to do my first flip with some Berserker rings, and I'll have a video out within the next couple days probably about me doing my first flips, but I made like 10k per ring, which isn't insane, but I was happy with it for my first ever attempt. Here is level 102 crafting, and crafting is one of those skills that I never train unless I absolutely have nothing better to do. Like if I'm bank standing and I gotta go pee real quick, I'll take out an inventory of molten glass and get in that 2k XP. But like otherwise, this is such an inefficient method of training, and I don't feel like it's worthwhile to spend a lot of cash to train it at the moment, so I normally just leave it be. So I was AFKing some cooking while I was playing my hardcore, and I look back at the screen and the the whole CC is spammed with plocks. It's all in good fun though, there's some good buddies from the old clan chat I used to hang out in. Shout out to the Gaines Corporation by the way, I did not forget about you guys and I still love you all. So I talked about this when I did it on the Hardcore 2, but this was a really good event and everything was just perfect until the underwater part. Like, did anyone else enjoy that as much as I did? Because I had so much fun with this. What an innovative idea, and especially doing it on two different accounts made me appreciate the underwater section and how fun it was so much more. In case you haven't done the Halloween event, that was sarcasm. The underwater part was awful, and it dragged on way longer than it should have. And I don't know why that was even a thing, like, you have to get the perfect ticks with it or else you'd fail and get reset. But you know, it's still an event, so it was nice to take part in it and get the rewards. So I met up with my friend Red Hippo at the GE to give him money for a bond because he had to get mems for his alt so he could sell a bunch of supplies that he had sitting on there. And his main account teleported away and he left his alt just following me and he wasn't responding or saying anything, so I just started walking away from the GE. And then a couple minutes later, his main account logged out, so I knew for sure that he was AFK then. I just went ahead and walked the account over to Taverly, and that account is only level 70, so I tried learning- <laughs> I tried luring the wolves on him. Oh my god, it was the funniest thing ever. He got so close to dying, and then right when he was about to die, he came back to the key where he's like, dude, what's going on? <laughs> 
I don't know what he had in his inventory, but I hope it was his whole bank because that would have made it so much more funny, but I can't believe that he almost died. It was just straight up gold though. But back to the rogues den and we got 90 mil cooking XP and I think we should start a petition to make the rogues den into the new cooking guild. After doing some winter tod on the hardcore, I got inspired to come here on my main because I figured it'd be a good way to get some ranks up even for just getting like an hour of post 99 XP, so that's what I did. But there are just so many unanswered questions though, you know, like why Fletch? and why chop chop and from what i've heard the new meta is yfm but there comes a point where you just got to turn the chat off <laughs> But we finished off the last round to make it a nice even 300 KC at Wintertod. And of course we didn't get any special loot, but that's fine. Dude, I did not know Eeviescape was going to be here. Like, what are the odds of running into him? I didn't even know he had a quest cape. This is, oh my god, dude, this is so crazy. I can't believe I'm seeing him here. Oh, man. Yo, look at this kid crafting over here. We're going to spec him out. Little did he know, I have D-Claws. And remember, whenever you rush someone, you always have to tell them to sit. The cooking grind never stops though, man. We got level 119 cooking now, which means we got just over 7 levels left to go. Oh my god, just got the best drop ever from Dagonoth Prime. I hate you. Oh my god, dude, why do you... Ugh. You know, it's not making it any less of a meme by me putting this in the video. There was a lucky impling at Piro Piro, and this is my first time ever catching one. I don't even know what they drop, but it was decent, I guess. Thank you so much for helping me out with getting me the items I need. It really means a lot. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So as you could tell, I just hit 400 mil XP at the start of the video, and we're now just hitting 450 mil which is a pretty decent amount of progress for like 2-3 to three weeks of playing. I do kind of feel like I cheated though because the majority of that XP was from cooking, but I mean like any max player can do what I was doing so I don't know, I guess it's just how you look at it. But I made the top 1k rank now, and I wasn't even one ticking Karam one either, I've literally just been AFKing Anglerfish. People ask me all the time if I'm making absolute bank from this, and the answer is no. Sometimes it profits a little, and sometimes you lose a little, and at this exact moment right now, there is a little bit of profit, but that can easily change by tomorrow or probably even later today. Cooking is not a skill to make money, and the money you make from cooking anything could easily be offset by any actual efficient money making method. By the way, in this clip, I just got 100 mil cooking XP, so we are halfway there, and I'm just doing the hooba hooba dance right now. Maybe I'll have a little party or something for when I hit 200 mil XP in cooking, but I don't know, that's still pretty far away, but I'm hoping I can get it by the end of the year. It's funny because at the start, I never thought I would actually go all the way through with getting a 200 mil skill or at least not this soon but then I made the hardcore Iron Man and I've just been doing some intense AFKing on here and well yeah the rest is history. The nature talisman memes man they're getting too strong now and here it is level 120 cooking. It reminds me of when Dungeoneering came out and it was so insane that the cap was level 120 but now I just reached that in cooking in old school runescape which is pretty cool man. There's a guy I see here every once in a while at the rogues den and like, once you start doing the same activity for a while, you tend to see a lot of the same people over the course of days, or even weeks sometimes. And this dude Chauncey has been grinding out 200 mil cooking for a while. And he finally just got it the other night, so I just want to say congrats man, in case you ever end up watching this. And I wish you the best with your post 200 mil cooking goals. The other night, my good old buddy Eeviescape convinced us on stream to do a mass at KVD, and it was a good time. I ended up getting maybe 40 or 50 kills and hit the 100 KC mark, which isn't a huge milestone at all, but it's 100 and it looked cool, so yeah. Also managed to snag my second KBD heads, which is cool, but I already have it, so I feel kind of bad that someone who actually needs it should have gotten it, but what can you do? So of course I am trying to get as much done as possible on this account, but as a max main, by the way, it's going to be very slow, which is why I can't put out these videos as often as I put out the Hardcore Iron Man videos. But as I said, at the end of each of these episodes, we're going to be going over the stats and see what's changed since the previous video. And the last progress video on the main wasn't like an official progress video, which is why this is episode 1, but these stats on the left are the ones that I showed from the end of the last progress video, and the stats on the right are my current stats now. And again, the final main end goal of the series is to have all the skills in the top 1k. The biggest thing that I want to point out is the overall rank, which moved up over 450 ranks, which is insane at this point because the ranks are only going to get slower and slower from here on. Another thing that I thought was amusing was that even though I gained 500 thieving XP, I actually lost 35 ranks, and it's going to be tough to keep up with some of these, but as long as 
I can keep them in the top 1k, I'll be happy. Definitely moved up a lot of cooking rings. I'm hoping I can be top 400 when I hit 200 mil, but there are so many people with 200 mil cooking, and now that one tick around ones have become mainstream and super easy, I expect a lot more people to be going for that goal. Still haven't been doing the best keeping up with farm runs, but we hit 15 mil XP and gained around 100 ranks, but I really need to be kicking myself to do that. And with Slayer, when the new Gargoyle boss came out, I spent around a day and a half training Slayer, and it looks like it was just enough XP to push us into the top 10k, which is awesome. I always like seeing less digits on here. I'm gonna have to start doing some more Slayer though to get those combat stats up, because those are the only things keeping me from top 10k in every skill. But that's pretty much it though, I mean I haven't really gone that hard on too many other skills. I mean I moved up a good amount of ranks for smithing for where it's at, but yeah I mean you can see for yourself what's been gained and what we've lost. And we've currently got 5 skills in the top 1k which is prayer, cooking, crafting, smithing, and thieving. So we've just got 18 left, which is going to be a very long way to go. But thank you for sticking around for episode 1, I do appreciate it. And let me know if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of this by giving the video a like. And for the title, in parentheses, I'm just going to put my current overall rank followed by the total XP. I think it looks kind of clunky, but I can't really figure out any way to make it look better. So let me know in the comments what you think about the format of the title, how you think it looks, and if you have any suggestions on how to clean it up. Also, there is a Discord for the channel, which I have linked in the description if you'd like to join and meet some fellow scapers. And my clan chat, Mudkip, is always open as well, which is another great place to make some friends or even just stop by to say hi. My current schedule is I post every day at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and if you want to stay updated on my videos and see more from me, then please subscribe. It really would mean a lot. And whether you're trick-or-treating, partying, or staying at home, I hope you have a safe and enjoyable Halloween, and I will see you again tomorrow.